right guys welcome back to the channel so uh we're working on a 2012 kia forte with a two liter um he wants me to check it over because he's going on a trip and uh he starts it up in the morning and he hears a little bit of noise and let me tell you when i started it up to bring it in here it's cold outside it rattled like crazy well it's more of a ticking let's put it that way so uh we're going to start this up and I'll let you listen to the noise here and uh, we'll kind of take some steps to diagnose this and see if we can figure out what's going on here. So this one's got 103,000 on it. might be a little hard to hear from in here tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put you guys out there I'll have you listen to it I got to run the throttle and uh, we can kind of figure out where this might be coming from So I don't know if you guys heard that, but uh, I kind of looked at it when it was uh, cold here. Used my stethoscope and tried to figure out where it could be making some noise here. Um, you have the typical injector noises here. Um, you know, you do have a little valve train noise. When I was checking with the stethoscope, it was kind of like right in this area here. So uh, does that rule out valve train noise? No. Does it rule out? timing chain noise no so the next step i'm going to take here um, is pull these plugs out i'm just going to get a glance of these plugs and just see what they look like and then we'll you know see if they tell us something and then we can further diagnose this otherwise kind of beyond that we're looking at pulling the valve cover off and uh, seeing what's uh, going on there or timing cover off um, but for right now I just want to do what's simple here we're going to pull these plugs out check and see what the condition is um, you know if we see something there it, the funny thing is this isn't missing or anything like that uh, it seems to be running okay there's no codes in it um, typically if you have timing chain issues that are bad enough you will have some timing chain codes or some um, uh, alignment codes there um, so yeah let's uh, let's kind of stick with the basics here and uh, see what the mechanical condition of this engine is as far as cylinders uh, make sure you know we could probably do a cylinder leak test um, that would tell us kind of you know is the cylinders good um, it, it almost sounds like piston slap to me but uh, other times it sounds like uh, almost like a lifter noise um, like a, a tap it tap it noise so um, we'll just have to uh, cross that bridge when we get there I guess let's uh, let's start with this first and uh, see what that tells us Let's pull these plugs out and uh, see if they tell us a story.
long threads on these ones. The plug looks really good actually. That one looks about the same, looks good. That one looks good. Last one. Again, most of that noise I heard was in this area here, but uh, with noises like that, if it's an internal noise, it transmits everywhere. So I'm not too sure about uh, valve train or even timing chain issues on this one. Well, I can tell you that that does not look like the other ones. I don't know if you can see that. It is very ashed up. Um, and there's not much of the electrode left. So, what is causing that? Do we have, you know, do we have a piston issue? I guess a two liter Kia, I wouldn't be completely surprised if it had a uh, piston slap let's uh let's get our inspection camera down here and first i gotta get this rolled over probably get the piston all the way down and then we'll uh see what that cylinder wall looks like uh if there's piston slap that cylinder wall is probably going to be scored pretty good so we'll check them all uh, and see where we're at if this one looks different uh, I would say we're probably looking at an engine here, but uh, let's get the camera down there. Trying to get a better look at whatever that is right, right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it almost looks like it almost looks like metal flake on the video camera. And again, it's probably not picking up the scoring, but there's heavy scoring all along there. I see crosshatch there. That's good. Other side of the piston. There's light scoring, but I still see the cross hatch at least. Let's move to another cylinder. Number four is down already. Let's go into that one. All right. So again, there is some scoring in here. I see cross hatch through the scoring though on this one. On this side anyway. Let's go to the other side. Scoring, but uh, I still see crosshatch through that one, too. I'm kind of concerned about this number one cylinder here. Let's get back here and just double check. that is so I turned the engine over um, see if I could hear any knocking noises or anything out of the normal I should do a cylinder leak down test. All right, so we got our adapter here. This one is um, 
This one is actually shared with my compression tester. So before we use it for this leak test, we have to pull this uh, um, Schrader valve out of here. So you can't leave those in there. Otherwise you will get a really high reading. Like this cylinder is super sealed. <laughs> so make sure you pull that out before you stick it in the cylinder. We do have the piston up on top dead center on compression stroke of this cylinder here. This engine rotates clockwise as you're looking at it. So make sure that you're turning the engine the same way to get it up onto the uh, compression stroke. Let's plug her in and see what happens here. We do have our gauges set at zero. All right, so the engine did not turn over. The engine is still on uh, compression stroke, a number one cylinder here. Just wanna check and see where our compression's going here. Definitely got some, a decent amount of blow by there. Okay, well that's not the result I'm looking for. I mean, it uh, leads us in the right direction, but uh, it's not good. Let's pull this out, move it over to number four cylinder. We'll check that one. I decided just to do number three here. That was the one up on top dead center compression. So we'll just do them all. That way we get a baseline of exactly what's going on with this engine. That's what we're looking for. Um, again, just to recap, spark plug on the cylinder, number one, you saw all that uh, deposits on there. Um, so I'm kind of leaning towards, obviously we have a problem in that cylinder. These three spark plugs look good. I expect pretty much the same result with uh, two, three, and four. So number three looks good. Let's try another one. All right, number two, let's see what this one does. All right, again, our result looks good on number two. Um, you can barely hear anything leaking there. Again, it's real low. So number two, number three are good. Let's try number four. All right, let's see what number four does here. So not quite as good as number two and number three. Again, I did see some scoring, some pretty heavy scoring on number four cylinder. And it's just on one side, it seems like. Um, I'm not sure if it was the back or front side. So, um, what I thought was maybe valve train noise or timing chain noise, um, which, yeah, I'm not ruling that out either, but the bigger problem is the cylinder. And I think I can probably say for sure that that uh, noise is somewhat piston slap from that cylinder. Um, again, just uh, looking at that uh, camera shot when we had the bore scope down in there and there was a little almost like metal flake or something in there. Maybe it was a chunk of carbon or something, but um, you could definitely see streaks of oil on the cylinder wall there. So cylinder number one is definitely compromised. and. I think he's just gonna have to uh, bite the bullet and uh, replace this engine because it makes no sense to pull everything else apart and not fix what's buried down below. So 
we'll give the customer a call and uh, see what he wants to do. Well, all right, guys, talk to the customer here. Uh, they got to do some thinking on this one. So uh, it's pretty expensive. Parts are hard to find. So uh, they might end up trading this one off. We'll see. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. And uh, please, like and subscribe.